We've got a new start system now for 3.24.2 P2 patch just dropping with the potential of going to wave 2. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, This one, testing focuses, remains the same. Um, Features and gameplay under the gameplay category. Um, They did weapon controller. It says they added action to allow firing weapon groups independent of whether they are selected or not. So the community um made uh, a request to cig that they wanted to be able to fire their weapons um independently from the fire groups that's currently selected and um, which i think is a fair request and lo and behold um within a day or two cig got it in so uh with this uh patch here so that's nice um uh just continue on it says added exit button to uh define terminals under ships and vehicles the origin 400i atmospheric flight improvement polish has been done further visual polish to ships and vehicles render to texture uh shaders they um updated the scorpius uh, mfd materials to remove doubling effect they are uh, under weapons and items there's quite a few uh under rifles it says rifles had had their vertical recoil tone down to make them Far more consistent at distances contesting SMGs, which is really good. Um, there is a large bias towards people loving the S71 with its much more relaxed recoil profile. So tuning the rifle's horizontal rec recoil down will make them more consistent across ranges, which is really nice. Uh, the P4AR, um, they've reduced the visual recoil. They've reduced horizontal aim recoil per shot from 0 0.07 to 0 0.02 which is nice so it's going to be more of a laser beam in this respect they made a few changes to the carno so it says here it's had a damaged increase to become more of a high skill high damage weapon you'd expect where it depends on hitting initial shots for more the alt fire uh, mode adjustments are to make less dead time in the weapon interesting magazine size increased from 30 to 35 they've increased the fire rate of the alt weapon from 60 to 350 that's a huge jump uh the damage increased from uh 16 to 17.5 the karna weight adjustment from 6.9 to uh, 4.20 uh, and the karna magazine weight adjustment from 1.62 to 0.6 the it says Karna weight was a heavy outlier uh, compared to other ARs. Um, it says here they've adjusted the Karna recoil to start consistent. B the then gets more inconsistent as it fires. This is done to help uh, it fit into uh, more AK uh, category. We have carved uh, out for it. Interesting. I'm going to be testing this out actually. I'm interested to see how this thing fires now. Uh, minor adjustments to the visual recoil to improve visual fidelity um and next is smgs uh, it says here aim return time is how long it takes for the weapon after firing to return to its default position smgs were snapping really hard on this so for visual fidelity the uh, return times have been increased keep in mind the stated return time is not actually how long it takes it's got a longer duration than stated because it has extra settle or bounce time. So for the C54, they've smoothed out uh, return aim recoil. They've increased the maximum aim return time from 0 0.75 to 1.1. Uh, the custodian, they've adjusted uh, min and max uh, return time and carved to be more in line with other SMGs. Damage increased from 11.1 .1 to 11.11. .11. Interesting. So now the PASC, they've smoothed out the return recoil. Um, and then sniper rifles also got an update. It says here the following sniper adjustments are intended to make one hit kill to a non-heavy target uh, viable at longer distances as the old values were too um, punishing and not allowing the sniper's fantasy to be possible. 
this is really good. The P6 should be one shotting. It's a 50 cal. It should have been one shotting from the from the start. So you need a heavy to actually tank its hits. But anything below a heavy, um, it should be taken up with one shot. So the P6 is going to be nice again. Nice. Okay. So smooth in uh sniper aim down sights procedural animation. Um, it says here the P6LR increase the distance before damage falls off from 200 to 550 meters. That is really good. That's a huge jump. Scapo says they increase the distance before damage fall off from 150 to 335 meters. There's a few bug fixes for this one. Um, they fix an issue where ships fall through the hangar. The elevator platform aren't retrieving results and being stuck under hangar. I, I literally just experienced this. Um, so that's good. They fixed an issue where EMP and QED can be powered on but not fired. They fixed an issue where the interaction point to sit on an 890 jump dining chair is not accessible. They fixed an issue where entrance markers remain on HUD for ships that have been streamed out. They fixed an issue where external aiming uh, elements are missing audio entirely or fail to produce audio until the player has entered the vehicle. They fixed an issue where the Hornet series ships do not have msd or hud displays uh set up correctly the fixing issue where mfds are not displaying uh this is for the ammo arrow the fixing issue where there is a portion or vis area issue at the entrance of the nomad the fixing issue where the fellow stations are unable to craft items they fix an issue where mining and salvage head throttle default to zero they fix an issue where scanned ships do not have a model in the vehicle MFD screen, they fix an issue where large this area issues at the back of Nova. This is the Nova tank. Along with this is four client crashes, six server crash fixes. Lots of FPS weapon updates on this one. Really excited. I'm going to go out and try a few of them. Um, before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one issue is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.